Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an everyday clean with me. So it's basically my daily cleaning routine. Please excuse my eye. I jabbed myself in the eye with an eyeliner and it is, it has been very sore, but it's okay. I've been to the opticians. It just needs to heal, but it doesn't look very nice. So the first thing I do most days is to sort out the kitchen. So putting away plates and cups and things like that and just wiping down the surfaces and making that area of the house nice and clean and tidy. It's usually a bit of a mess after breakfast and the chaos of making school lunch boxes and things like that. So I like to get that out of the way with. We have recently got a dishwasher. I've been putting up without one for ages because we're renting this house for a short period of time. So I didn't want to get a dishwasher when I could manage perfectly well without one, but my husband actually decided to order one anyway. So we have one of those now, which is great. So next I just get on with wiping down the surfaces, including the windowsill. So I'm just taking all the bits and pieces off there. And then once I filled the sink up with some soapy water, I can take everything off and wipe it all down. Then dry it off with a microfiber cloth and put everything back. I don't do this every single day, but it's just one of those things that I like to do every so often, just to keep on top of it. Whilst I've been doing that, Marnie has been busy making some more mess for me to clear up on the kitchen floor. The kids were actually going through the Smith's toy catalogue yesterday, writing their Christmas lists, getting in there nice and early. I'm fairly sure they will change at least 10 or 15 times before the big day. So next I move on to the living area of the kitchen and just tidying up coffee cups from the morning, breakfast bowls, that kind of thing, and putting away Marnie's toys which she's been playing with. Then I just take my method cleaner and my minky. Yes, I got sucked in and I managed to get my hands on Mrs. Hinch's famous minky and it is actually really good. It's comfortable to hold and um, yeah, it does what a cloth should do, I suppose. So then I just go around wiping down the table with my method spray and the top of Marnie's kitchen, which you can't quite see me doing there because of the angle of the camera, but I'm just wiping down surfaces basically and tidying up all the bits and pieces that have been left out from breakfast and the morning chaos. It really made me laugh editing this clip back that Marnie has been going around and doing all my good work and pulling out her toys again whilst I have my back turned. I don't know why I bother putting them away in the first place, to be honest. Then Marnie moves on to her little kitchen and decides to make some pizza. Then the last thing I want to do in this room before I move on to other parts of the house is to hoover the rug and just mop the like high traffic areas. I don't mop the kitchen floor every day, but I try to do under the high chairs and around where the kids sit and eat their food most days if I can. So that's the kitchen looking pretty clean and tidy. So now I can move on to the lounge. This is actually our kind of, I call it the playroom. It's not really a playroom. We sit in here to watch TV in the evenings as well, but we, we're lucky enough to have two lounges in this house, but this is the one that the kids have all their game stuff in. So I just like to go in and put all the remotes away, tidy up the cushions and that kind of thing. This is our old sofa and it is well and truly knackered. We really need to replace it. It's got holes in and feathers falling out. It's just a complete mess, but it does the job for now until we can replace it. Oh, oh. oh good, that's gonna leave a nice smudge. Thanks for that. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so once I finished tidying the sofa, there are feathers all over the floor. So I just need to get the hoover out and hoover them up and then I get out my uh, carpet spray. I just think it makes the whole house smell really nice and the scent lasts for ages as well, so I like to do that step if I can. Then moving into the other like lounge living room area, I just straighten up some of the cushions and then does anyone else have a constant pile of stuff on the stairs? So I just wanna take that upstairs quickly as well before having a quick hoover round and spraying the carpet. So moving on to the downstairs loo, I picked up these festive flash wipes from B&M and they are clementine and clove scented and they smell amazing. If you spot them, get them. So I just use these to wipe down the surfaces in the downstairs bathroom. I don't do this every single day, but I try and do it at least a couple of times a week. I live with three boys, so I definitely need to be wiping down the toilet every single day, at least once, sometimes more. So I just give that a quick wipe over with the wipes and then use my Harpic toilet bleach stuff 
to pour down the loo, let that do its thing while I give a quick wipe over the sink and just collecting all the wipes on the side to put in the bin afterwards, don't worry I'm not flushing them. Then moving on to the family bathroom upstairs, I like to do this toilet every single day as well because the kids use this one too, I don't worry so much about our en suite because it's only really me that uses that um, and Dan occasionally but that one's not so necessary to do every day but this one and the one downstairs definitely are. So I just give it all a quick wipe over around the sides of the bath as well because the kids had a bath last night and they tend to splash a lot so I'm just giving it a bit of a once over. Also when the kids are brushing their teeth they get toothpaste all over the mirror so I'm just wiping that down as well. I made our bed as soon as I got out of it this morning. I do that first before I do anything else because then at least I feel like I've accomplished something but I noticed when I was making it that the top of the bed and the bedsit tables were looking a bit dusty so I'm just going over those with a wipe as well and straightening out the bed covers because they were looking a little bit wrinkly and that kind of thing bugs me so I just sort that out and then I move into Merrin's room I didn't make the kids beds before they left for school this morning I try to if I can but obviously I don't always have time so I'm just making her bed and then I go and do Dylan's and Aiden's as well and arrange the three million soft toys she has on her bed. Once I'm done I reward myself with a cup of coffee which I can hopefully drink while it's still hot if Marnie will let me. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing what kind of cleaning I do on a daily basis. If you did please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.